Hey guys, what is 7 a.m. in the morning? Way too early for the Busbees to be out and about. But Daniel starts his two weeks of swim lessons today. No, he does not know how to swim. It's kind of embarrassing for him to be out in the pool with floaties when there's kids way younger than him just out there, you know, splashing around. And there's Daniel with his floaties. So Daniel's going to take this two-week course. Starts at 8.30 every morning and goes to 9.10. So that's early. But we're going to take you guys with us. So let's go splash. Mosquitoes are about to carry me away from here. I should have bought mosquito spray, but Daniel's about to finish up his class here. Looks like he's having a good time. I hope that he learns what he needs to learn. And a lot of students out here with varying levels of uh, swimming skills and abilities. So it's good to see so many kids out here, you know, learning more and growing in their swimming abilities. It's a very important thing to learn at a very early age, so glad Daniel gets to do this. So how'd your first day go? Good. Did you learn anything? Yeah. What'd you learn? Rush go front kick, back kick, and cross stroke, I think. Oh, is that all? Yeah, we had to stop. Okay. Bye-bye. Well, it's story time with the buzz here. And one of the reasons why I'm very adamant about Daniel taking these courses and learning how to swim is because an incident that happened with me when I was 12 years old. Uh, when I was 12 years old, my dad took us kids swimming at a friend's pool. And I was in the water. It was about the time when my leg strength began to decrease because of the muscular dystrophy. And I guess my legs got fatigued after a while. I was in the pool, holding on to the side of the pool, and I was allowing myself to go under and pushing myself back up with my feet. And I was doing that a couple of times and having a great time, just enjoying uh, swimming. And then suddenly I pushed up. And when I went back down under my feet, slipped on the bottom of the pool and went out from under me and started floating behind me so it kind of pushed me forward and I could not I didn't have the muscle strength to straighten myself back up I didn't know how to swim so here I am I can see right now as I'm talking about this I can see the vision of myself in the water and I'm looking around there's water there you know I can't breathe and finally my dad noticed that I was not bobbing up and down anymore. So he reached down into the pool and jerked me up real quick. And boy, did I start coughing and gagging and sputtering. I thought for sure that I was about to die. And you know, the feeling of your loving dad reaching down and pulling you out of the water is just a picture that I'll never forget. But it also impresses upon me the importance of teaching my child how to swim. Now, I want to encourage you, if you have not taught your child how to swim or your child does not know how to swim yet, get them enrolled in some swim lessons. I would, I would hate for something tragic to happen because they just don't know how to swim.